four-time Miss Olympia, Jay Cutler. Welcome to my channel, Jay Cutler TV. And make sure to stay in tune with the newest and updated videos. Subscribe below, guys. Thank you so much for following along. All right, Jay Cutler TV in a different place once again. So you're walking in San Diego. We're in San Diego <laughs> for the expo, another expo, one of the last actually the last expo of the year for the Fit Expo. And uh, nothing better than getting outside, not locking yourself in the hotel. So I always tell everyone, like I always do my morning car to you guys see me on Instagram. And you've seen my, my, uh, my YouTube before, where I get out and try to do at least 30 minutes of exercise. First thing in the morning, empty stomach always sufficient to help burn body fat get the metabolism going for the day and uh here we are in san diego and enjoying the nice outside see people on the east coast and overseas i know it's getting cold over there <laughs> so this is what it's like so we're, we're at rubbing seven, it in <laughs> at seven o'clock in uh in san diego this time of year yeah. november almost november yeah. it's almost, almost halloween look at that but, uh, you know, things, things have been progressing all year, and I'm really happy, uh, you know, I was able to travel so much this year, probably the most travel season ever, and, uh, you know, I'm getting ready for, obviously, the holidays and, you know, the new launch of the Cutler Nutrition brand, which I'm super excited about, and I'll make that announcement soon with all the new products, so I've been kind of working pretty hard with that, and and in that setup, mostly direct to consumer, Amazon, and uh, just pick it, hand picking a few retailers, but it's going to be distributed worldwide. So that's pretty cool. Do you, um, I mean, I know in the past you traveled a lot also, and it seemed to be like really hard on you. Do you, you seem to enjoy it more now? Yeah, travel I kind of got, got the rhythm now. Yeah. <laughs> kind of got the rhythm, so, you know, the time zones people are like man how do you go from like eight hours to three hours to back to vegas time and man i'm used to it like i still get up at the same times what i try to do is like just make sure i stay on the clock of like when i get up and of course when i go back to vegas especially after like that uk tour and then going to olympia for a week and then going back on the road to the international stuff i was in ireland and germany and uh, Italy and all those other places like eight hour time differential man like I was kind of I think I was telling you I was up in the middle of the night yeah. like, I wake up at like three yeah. but I just try to stay in bed and at least sleep till six o'clock I was getting up at six now as you know I got your ass up this morning at seven to yeah to do this and then I'll eat and Kind of jealous i just saw mike rashid he's headed to the gym right now <laughs> i actually would like to train today i told you that yesterday yeah. at the expo where most people are like man i'm so tired and i kind of wanted to go train last night yeah but i ended up watching the red sox game and kind of just taking a down day we had trained every day we were tired because you know i had a lengthy week yeah working out and doing all that so you know it's just been really good to uh you know spend some time down here i got to go to venice prior to this and, and train over there which was pretty cool and and uh Did that interview with some people yeah. yeah so it's been good the channel's been kicking ass so thank you guys for supporting the channel and you know hopefully it's giving people motivation because I think at this point in my career the motivational thing I mean I heard so many stories yesterday like you don't think that okay I go to the gym I work out every day I start training for an ultimate goal, being the best body owner. I don't think you realize how much you touch people's lives by hmm. just chasing your dream. And then people may not want to step on stage, but people challenge themselves every day to get up and go to the gym. Yeah. So I think it's it's really cool to hear that. And I mean, there's been so much science and so much changing. And I always tell people, like, I'm a little frustrated with the internet and like people ask about these like fasting diets and mm. like these trends, the training, like the type of training, man. It's just so simple. Like it's about volume training, about doing uh, 
you know, exercises that work for your body. Uh, reps, you know, keeping the reps 8 to 12. Really getting working for that pump. And living the bodybuilding lifestyle with the food. Yeah. Food patterns and, uh, you know, having days where you eat more, eat less. And not necessarily like I hate the keto thing because I think yeah. it's, it's a quick solution, but it's not long-term. a long-term solution. Yeah. So, you know, don't be afraid to eat carbs. Like carbs are your friend if it's done right. You know, these guys up here. I know, look at that. I don't know if I'd oh, wow. be strapped on that hard. <laughs> I don't think so. So, uh, that, could, that could be a, that'd be a liability job. Pirate here. party. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to still put out information. I think, I think learning yesterday, walking away from the expo, like I try to say, okay, what can I learn? from the fans that come to see me yeah and I think yesterday like I learned okay I gotta put out more diet stuff like well, how to eat and stuff because people have no idea how to eat Dave like well, well look at the last video you did which was just like a, a simple sample of a day in your it's life getting a lot of eat. traction right over, over, over 40,000 hits in just a few days and people are really interested to see what your life is like now what you're doing compared and, to before and what do we post up there the mega fit and we post it yeah up the, just your breakfast your typical breakfast yeah and then your post was out you know, which is really what your life is now, you know. Yeah. But um, I think it's just crazy that like there's just so much information. I forget that people don't know how to eat. You know, I know you take it for granted. I know. And I think you know I always sit there and say, okay, you got to eat a good breakfast. Yeah. You got to go to good meal before and after training, and then the rest should be feeder meals. Yeah. I eat every two hours. When most people eat every three, right? Two yeah. and a half, three hours. Yeah. I don't know how many you eat. How many you eat? Uh, so like six. No, but how much space in between? No more than know? three. Okay, because I'm starving after two, like Me when too. I was full training. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the portion sizes have to be enough so you can get your body in that systematic uh, repetition of, like, getting the, the food on that consistent basis. That's yeah. the key. Yeah. So... Some meals are going to be larger than others. Like I mentioned, the breakfast should be the biggest. Yeah. I mean, I get up every morning looking forward to breakfast. Yeah. And then, you know, depending on when you train, even the people at night that train, you still have to take in carbs around that training. Don't. Yeah. Don't be afraid to take in a little bit of carbs, even if it's 8, 10 o'clock at night. Your body doesn't know. Right. Your body doesn't have a clock. You know, you can create the, any clock around your body. Yeah. So people have this mindset like, oh, I can't eat carbs at night. Well, that's not true. Especially if you train it, then. yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so. Wow, look at that. That's a big ship, huh? Woo! You used to take cruise a lot before. Yeah, that's a big ship, though. Jeez. Yeah, no cruises for me. <laughs> Being locked on a ship with a million people is not. <laughs> you did uh, that for a while. Yeah, but you just got to find that systematic approach. Then, uh, you know, work, work the best that way. Yeah. I think that's the key. I think people are just really confused, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, the Olympia's come and gone now. And uh, you've seen all the, the hype. And, you know, Sean's at his the first EXO appearance, I think, since yeah. since then, you know? And he's, you know, living a life as Mr. Olympia, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. But he hasn't been back to Golds, though. I thought he was coming right back to Golds to train. Yeah, I think he's spending some time with his family right now. Yeah. Downtown. And, uh... We'll see how the new year lays out. You know, we'll be yeah. at the Fit Expo again end of January in it's LA. Gonna, it's going to come fast. So I know a lot of people here told me they're going to be in LA also, mm -hmm. which is great, and I can't look, I can't wait to see that because uh, I think it'll be the biggest one ever because I think the expos are growing. Yeah. And uh, I have my show in Boston next week, which is awesome. Look forward to seeing that. It's my last one of the year there, and then I hit Dubai in December. Whoa. A lot of fans there. Okay. This is great. But right. that's my next. That's gonna be the next thing I think. When we when we get together, or I might shoot it actually sitting in my house. Talk about the diet stuff, you know. I think so. I think you should. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Like it. Yeah. Kind of cool, you know. Um, people really, uh, people really also like your uh, Ask Jay uh, questions. You yeah. know, we did like a three parts already. But uh, if you want to keep doing that? It's something you like. Yeah. Great. Please write your questions, guys. I want on the end of this video. Okay, if you guys are watching this video, please, please comment and mention uh, to me. Uh, maybe ask the questions oh. that you want to know. 
okay and uh i'll i'll start writing these down and we can answer those in ask jay so this is the first video that i said ask me questions i know put, put underneath you know where did they come before underneath. what people what did you get those questions before uh people writing into me okay stuff like that like dm maybe instagram yeah dm okay you know so maybe maybe we can do a good a good uh picture of this like okay let's start we'll get a picture and okay. then we can uh Maybe I'll even highlight this on my Instagram, like make it easier. Okay. If people aren't going to comment. But I want people to comment on the YouTube section. Okay. So, guys, comment on the YouTube section. Awesome. Thanks, right. Jim. Thanks. All right, so don't look at Angie's food because Angie's on our Sunday cheat time, which I'm going to have a bite of that too, by the way. Okay, so on the road, still the same food. You guys see me cook before at home. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day, and I don't really deviate much from the breakfast but bowl of oatmeal uh two over easy eggs we have no turkey bacon we only have real bacon and then a couple of slices uh, one slice of bread here and uh i'm gonna have a bite of her french toast so yes people i am normal and it's sunday <laughs> so this is what we're eating on the road here First meal of the day after fasted cardio. Try and stay on the routine, so keep it easy. Keep it simple.